Spiritually, who do you want to connect with? My stepdad. Let yeah. me see if I can get him. I'm being told not to by dad. It's not about crew or camera. That's what I'm getting is like, don't tell everything. You're right, my name's Sasha Keeble and Wu have invited me today to have my own personal psychic reading. I'm really excited. Hi. Hi. I'm Jay. I'm Sasha. Hi Sasha, lovely to meet you. Have you had a reading before? No, never. Um, what would you like to expect from today? Um, I don't really know. Like maybe if someone comes through or I don't know, I'm just, I'm really open to whatever. Are you sceptical or non-sceptical? I'm non-sceptical. Non-sceptical, oh, that's I actually went to mediumship school once. Okay. Like for like four days. Um, the Arthur... Arthur Finley College. Yeah, oh, I went so there. Good there. Yeah, 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 so really I went there, good. so I'm definitely open. Oh, you're open. Right, so today what I'm going to do is we're going to work with crystals. Actually, it's probably better you popping your hand in the bag. So I want you to start off with three. Okay. So crystals basically link with energy, so I just want you to hold them. Okay. And then just whenever you're ready, just open your hands and then just choose one, whatever one you want to go for, first of all. This one, of oh course. So all I'm going to say is I wanted to go straight in for fertility, IVF, anything linked with babies and family. So it's all about children. I'm seeing two, so one girl, one boy and one guy. Really? So it's all on the family. And right. So I feel at the moment you're on this journey of love is all around you, you know that, but it's that journey of, right, I want to be a mum, I want a foundation, I want to kind of, I just see you blossoming. So it's that way of now looking at change and transition, but it's also becoming more committed. Okay. So Road to Christ, Christ Sight's very about the commitment, it's very about being with the person that you love, the person that you adore. I'm just going to say, she's got a strong-willed nature, a mm -hmm. little bit bossy for my liking, <laughs> but very much I feel she's got your back. Is it a lady or a man? Girl, yeah, it's oh, the girl. Yeah. Sorry. So, yeah, so it doesn't matter. But I just feel like for you, it's all about being with somebody that loves you for who you are. There's no airs and graces. It's basically what you see is what you get, which is amazing. Let me just take the second one. So I'm going to go with Bloodstone, which is all about the heart and the emotions. So that's more linked with childhood. Okay. And a lot of stuff, what you've been through, which you don't actually want anyone to know about. So there's a lot, not secrets, but there's stuff like you want to keep very buried. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. spiritually, who do you want to connect with? Um, my stepdad. So it's dad energy. Let me yeah. see if I can get him. That feeling then when your stepdad came in, that feeling with the tiger's eye of knowing that he's safe and well. I feel leaving was the hardest thing he ever did, but everybody sat by me, everyone was there. And my whole body hurts from the top of my head to the tips of my toes. He's got a strong feel, very loving, very much see you as a daughter. So I don't really want to say stepdad, I want to say I am your dad. And anything legs, so I don't know, it's just my legs don't work properly and I feel like I'm not moving. Does it not make sense? Yeah, he was in a I'm car crash. Does it make sense? Yeah, no, it makes sense. Do you want to ask me any questions or anything you want to know um, or need to know? I don't mind. I'm happy for you to go go ahead. Like, I think I hold things in quite I'm a lot. I'm being but... told not to by Dad, so that's oh, really? how I want to word it. So it's just that feeling of don't reveal too much. And I feel it's not about crew or camera. That's what I'm getting. It's like, don't tell everything. So I'm okay. being a little bit more hes <laughs> hesitant. You're the type of person to say, just tell people what they need to hear. Yeah. And just keep your private life private. Yeah. Because it's being exposed. Yeah, I'm like I'm like a massive oversharer, but then when it actually comes to like important things, I'm, you need to hold it. Yeah, in. I'm like I don't tell anyone anything. Yeah. And you should have done psychology. Yeah, I always wanted to do psychology because it's that way of I love people, I love their energy, I want to communicate, and I think for you it's listening to like the story that I'm telling you rather than you sitting there and me telling you your story. Yeah, no, it's, it makes it makes sense. Like, is that all okay then? Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So that was really interesting. I, I think I wanted my stepdad to come through so much that I almost like put up like a barrier in a weird way like yeah i think i need to do it in private because i actually think if my stepdad would have properly come through i'm not like i would have just been balling and i'm not trying to cry on camera because it's not me but yeah it was great and she's amazing and really interesting thanks so much for that psychic reading woo that was amazing i'll see you soon